day 64 and um, a lot of what I am um, experiencing now is really um, processing of feelings and uh, we have this relationship with pain we fear it we're afraid of pain I remember when I just started having my you know my crisis was happening and obviously I was feeling all the feelings and feeling depressed and scared and needing security which wasn't there and you know just I was so afraid I was so afraid to feel pain I was just so afraid to feel pain and um, now nine years later I also know that pain is a portal to transformation and if we avoid pain there is no growth because it's this avoidance of pain, because when do we feel pain? We feel pain often. We feel pain when there is loss of something that we've come to rely on, whether it's a person or a lifestyle or even you know an item that we love. If that's lost or stolen, we, we feel pain. We feel pain when um, when life is going not according to particular expectations you know i i work with people in relationships and so many and me including you know we we hold on to something an idea we hold on to an idea or a dream of a relationship and then disregard what's actually happening in relationship so we because breaking of a dream feels like such pain that instead of experiencing that discomfort we'd rather not make any changes and then our whole life is spent in a way that we don't enjoy or don't love or don't that doesn't bring out all of our gifts that doesn't fulfill us so what I am noticing in my um, research on how our nervous system reacts to our life and to other people and to our thoughts and everything is that for our body to experience pleasure or to experience pain, two opposite thoughts is experienced in exactly the same way in our body. What happens is there is like an arousal of the nervous system. When we experience pleasure, our nervous system is stretched from norm, from like the calm norm. And when we experience pain, our nervous system is also aroused and it's out of the norm because in norm, we, we don't feel, you know, we don't feel pain. In norm, we're just like automatically functioning. So what I started realizing is that if pain and pleasure feel the same and we love pleasure and we are afraid of pain, actually our, um, it's our thoughts that determine whether it's a positive or negative experience. So the more we avoid pain, the more we avoid pain, the more we actually block our joy and pleasure and capacity to feel the corresponding polarity of pleasure. Because what's happening is that we are protecting our nervous system to live in a very narrow um, tolerance window, very narrow tolerance window. In order to be able to tolerate anything outside of that very narrow range of what we've allowed ourselves post-trauma, which is very little, we need to learn to stretch our tolerance window. Our tolerance window is then um, allowing us to experience, to tolerate greater degree of pain or discomfort and greater degree of pleasure or joy. So if we train our thoughts and become an observer and don't get attached to the story that our mind spins about 
what what we're feeling in our body we can stretch and train our nervous system slowly but surely we can go from one extreme to another but it's a process the more we we stretch our capacity to tolerate discomfort the more we also open up the range for ourselves to experience pleasure and joy and all the things that we actually crave so the more we prevent and avoid pain the more we also prevent and avoid our capacity to experience the heights of pleasure and joy so this is something that i wanted to share today because this is a lot of what i am not only experiencing and processing and understanding but also in my coaching sessions these last several weeks um this has come up more than once uh, many times and i wanted to wanted to share it here all right everyone see you tomorrow